Hello my friends, we are back in Luminar Neo and today we are going to talk about the newest software update and this is the update number 1.0.5. This software update has a lot of bug fixes but the most important update is on presets and that's what we were going to talk today. I will start with this image on the left and now when you look here on the top, before you used to only have the catalog and the edits, now in the middle you also have presets. To activate your presets you click on it and now on the right side you will see all your presets. On the very top you will see the for this photo and this is the Luminar Neo AI uh, figuring out what kind of photo you have and what kind of presets will work best for it. And then uh, on the bottom here you have all the other catalogs of presets you can use any of this one so you are not limited to just for this photo catalogs. So for this image let's uh, go with this uh, easy landscape collection and as you can see this catalog has uh, six presets long exposure will look something like this then we have sunset we have clean light noirscape which is a black and white adjustment preset forest stream and snowfall and for this image let's go with maybe sunset and right off the bat you see there's it's a little bit too much but we'll tweak that in a second and that is the great thing about this update now if we go back to edits we can see all the edits has been made to this image the, the edits that makes this preset so as you can see this preset has some fog added to it it has some vignette added the color harmony we see we got some brilliance and warmth no contrast no split worm no color balance that in the color we have some changes into the hsl panel the greens has been shifted towards yellow and then for the saturation we see the greens has been desaturated and, and the luminance looks like everything is as it was before. Then we have some landscape adjustments where it looks like we have some golden hour to 40 and some enhance and in the develop module we do have increased contrast and let's see anything else. I think everything else stayed the same. Now the great thing about having a preset now we can modify it. So how do we do that? But let's say this is a little bit too saturated for me. I can go into the color and I can decrease the saturation as needed. Maybe something like that. And then I can go into develop. Maybe I want to lift up the shadows a little bit. So I can get a little bit more detail. I can even bring down the highlights a little bit. If the blue is too saturated i can go into color into the hsl i'll go into the saturation and bring down the saturation of the blue to make it look more natural and let's see this is our before and after before and after now if we like this preset we have the option on saving it and how do you do that well over here on the bottom, now we have the action button, which we had it before there. And we have to revert to original, which will erase all the edits we've done so far on the image. But we also have save as preset. This button did not exist before. Now we can save our preset. So we have this preset of sunset that we, it was a already made preset, but we did edit it and change it and we made it the way we like it. And now we can save it as a new preset. And I can save it into my presets. And let's say I will name this sunset. And now this preset it's saved into my presets. You will find it over here under my presets. And I do not know why I did not take the name I gave it to it. But if you click on these three buttons, you can edit it, rename it, delete it, or show in Finder. So I can just rename it and let's see if we'll take it now. There you go. Now it says sunset. 
If we go back to presets, still doesn't show it. Well, I don't know why it didn't take the name. Let's see how we can use my presets that I already made. In catalog, I'm going to choose a different image now. Maybe this image, I wanna apply the preset I just saved. I know it's this preset. I don't know why it did not let me uh, rename it. And now with this preset, this is the image before and after, before and after. And of course, just like in the other one, I can always go into my tools and I can modify it as needed for, I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker for this. And maybe I just wanna soften it up a little bit. And for that, I will go into, let's see, structure, and I'm gonna apply some negative structure. And there you go. Let's take one more example. This time I will take this beautiful barn and I am going to apply a preset. I made already a preset before I um, started filming. So this is a preset I just created about a half an hour ago. And this is how it's changed from this to this. And the preset I created, I will show you what it contains. It contains a little bit of vignette, a little bit of uh, changes into color harmony. I did change the colors a little bit. I desaturated the image a little bit. I added a little bit of golden hour and the foliage enhancer, a little bit of enhance, a little bit of structure. And then in the develop, I increased the shadows and reduced the highlights and add a little bit of contrast. And I like the way this preset works on this image, but I still want to modify it a little bit. So on the tools, I am going to go to develop one more time. I'm going to bring down the exposure and maybe just paint this in the foreground because I like to darken the foreground a little bit. I think it was a little bit too bright. So I'm just going to paint it over here. All right. And this is before painting the background, the foreground and after, before and after. The whole image edit, this is the before and add after, before and after. Maybe I want to add just a little bit more of that landscape golden hour. So I am going to apply one more of this, not too much, maybe just about this much. And that looks good to me. And let's see, this is the image before and after, before and after. And now if I want to save this one as a preset the way it is, of course we can go to presets and I'll go to action and I will save it as a preset. Let's see, we can name this one what we want to name it. I am going to name it Sunset 2. I'm not very creative with my titles. And with that title created, it will always be here into my presets. And I do not know why I cannot change the name of it. Maybe it's a bug, maybe I just don't know how to do it right. But anyway, this is what your presets are. This is how to use it in your images. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing and I will see you in my next video.